I've been in the cantorate 58 years. I graduated from the first class of cantors on the American soil in 1951. It was a great honor to have such teachers as Gershon Efros, Max Helfman, Eric Werner, Jacob Weinberg, Lazar Siminski, and Binder. My first pulpit was in Manchester, Connecticut. My duties at that time were teaching B'nai Mitzvah, teaching in the Hebrew religious school during the week, Sunday school, and all the functions that go along with the cantorate, weddings, brisses, the whole works. I sang Goldfarb, uh, I guess it was Bender's Chibat Zion or Shabbat Zion. I would sing their Mogena vote, Hashkivenu, and uh, basically that was the extent of the music available hmm. to us at that time. And when I came to Sacramento, it was half Orthodox synagogue, half conservative, and uh, I sang without any music, uh, organ at all. Well, I was able to more or less improvise. I loved improvisation. And that became my style, and I was able to become more or less, you probably heard to say, a zugger. A zugger, mm hmm And that was a great compliment at the time. A zugger is someone that uh, could get up on the pulpit, look at the music, stay within the mode, and just say word after word and word, and really interpret the word as they really mean. Mm. So, a zugger. Basically, it's been a, a nice ride. I had some nice honors. Hebrew Union College gave me a nice honor. Jewish uh, Theological gave me, I have two uh, honorary uh, doctorates mm -hmm. from them. And I had other nice things over the years, so. Would you say it was a good life? A good life. I had to have a good wife, good children. My wife, we will be celebrating our 60th wedding anniversary. Mazel tov. Yeah, and uh, it's been a good ride. And uh, I was telling my son, who's probably will retire in a week, year or two, I mentioned to him about two months ago, I only wish that your retirement will be as fruitful as my retirement has been.